Yo, Adam Saxon with Kind of Keep it in this video, let's look at how Power BI and Excel can really come together and not be kept in separate corners. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. Okay, we've been going around to a few conferences lately and that in itself is amazing just because of the times. There's been conversations that have come up and I've made a few jokes about, you know, we do all this work inside of Power BI. We bring in the data, we do best practices, we get these amazing reports just to do what? For someone to export it to Excel. And I get a couple chuckles in the room. That's because everyone knows that I'm right. Everyone wants to work in Excel. Why? Because their comfort level with Excel is way up here and their comfort level with Power BI may be lower, right? Because it's newer, right? They haven't been using it as long. Let's be honest, Excel's been around forever. Everybody knows Excel and that's what they're comfortable with. And that's where they wanna go tinker with the data instead of tinkering with it inside of Power BI. So I wanted to spend a few moments just to make sure everyone's aware of the options that you can use to avoid exporting your data. Ooh. All right, so enough of all this talking, you know, we like to do things here in Gynacube. Let's do what? Let's head over to my machine. So first and foremost, we come into a Power BI report and, you know, they see this amazing report. We're slicing, we're dicing, and they're like, oh yeah, you know, I want a certain piece of this. So I'm going to slice it by this. And then, oh, this table, I just want to export it. So let me go to export data. We'll do data with current layout, maybe summarize data, and then we can choose, you know, what we want. There is a row limitation here. So for Excel, it's 150,000 rows. For CSV, it's 30,000 rows. You may have more than that in the data that you want to export. And I joke around about this as well, but someone sometimes says, oh, I need to export like a million rows. And because that's the limit of Excel. Why? What are you going to do with that? Typically what they're going to go do is just use a pivot table on that data so that they can tinker around with the data and figure out what's going on. Let me show you some options. So instead of this export thing, why don't we come up to, I know, I know, the export menu, you'll see this analyze in Excel if you're in the report. If I go ahead and click that, it's gonna create an Excel file. Open in a web just to open it in the desktop client. Let's enable the content. And yes, we trust the provider here. And what you're gonna see is that it actually directly connects to the data set of that report, at which point you'll see it's got all the measures, it's got all the dimensions and everything is here and we can slice and dice. So let me come down, let's do sales country, we'll do rows and then we'll come up and we'll say total sales amount. And now I've got this data here. I can slice it and dice it. I can add a slicer, I can sort it, I can add other items as part of this. So let me add year. And so by year we can do that and now I can collapse and expand. These are all things you can do with that data model that's already created, right? So I can already utilize the data that's been curated, the measures that exist. I don't have to tinker around and, and do some extra things and break things, right? So I'm connected to the source. So when the data set gets refreshed, my Excel file is using the latest data, which is amazing. That doesn't happen when I export. So I will say that the analyze and Excel option that's great even for older versions of Excel. But if you are using Microsoft 365 and you're on the latest, let me show you a different option that might be a little easier and just let you stay in Excel altogether. So let me close this and let me just open up a blank Excel file. The options are endless in terms of what I can do in Excel. And so what I'm gonna do is just go to the data tab and I'm gonna go to get data. If you're familiar with Power BI, this is familiar to you. I'm gonna come down to From Power Platform and then you'll see From Power BI. You can optionally do data flows or Dataverse. So let me do from Power BI. And what you're going to see is a list of Power BI data sets. You'll notice I'm signed into my organization. And then I can just go and get information that's relevant to me. And I can search for things. And here I see AdventureWorks that's available. And I could do insert pivot table. And then when insert pivot table is there, I can just do the same thing. I can come down. I can Let's pull in sales territory and we'll do total sales amount. And now I can just go slice and dice against that data set in Power BI. Adam, this is great. You blow my mind. I can do things directly in Excel against that data set that I have permissions with. Everything's great. I don't need to export except wait. I think I do need to export. And maybe there's another reason that you need to export. If you do have to do it, there is an option inside of Power BI that will let you export to Excel 
with more than just 150,000 rows. Let me show you that. Let's go back to Power BI. I'm gonna go to this Data Hub thing. I don't know if you played around with this. This thing's pretty cool. Data Hub comes up, look at all these things. So now let's go ahead and I'm gonna pick my certified adventure works. And when I go to the ellipsis, you're gonna see an option here. It says create formatted table. Realistically, this is a paginated report, but it's all done through the UI. So you don't need to learn another tool. And I can go ahead and just add certain things in here. I can say, hey, I want total sales amount. Maybe I also want total quantity and total freight. And then you can break things down and change some of the, you know, some of the items. Maybe I want to do contrast alternating rows. And then you can go and export it to a bunch of options. And if you want to learn more about formatted tables, check out the video that Patrick did talking about formatted tables to give you an idea of what's available there. Right now, as of the recording of this video, there aren't ways that you can filter the data down though, like with parameters or whatnot, that hopefully will come soon because that will make this feature amazing. For the formatted tables also, don't need to use premium for that. That is just available if you're a pro user, which is great. All right, I want to hand this back to you. What are the options? Why do you export your data? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments below and let's see if we can come up with other ways to maybe avoid exporting. Maybe you just didn't know about certain features. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.